Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for a top 5 alien big chap action figure countdown video. This video was massively inspired by the channel Strange Form on YouTube. Some of the best, most comprehensive alien big chap collectible content you can find on the internet. Definitely check out Strange Form. Now originally this video was just going to be an Alien Big Chap Collectibles Top 5, but I decided to, because this guy would have come in at number one, it's the Kodobukiya statue, it's quite small, but it's one of the most accurate Alien Big Chaps you can find, it's been reviewed on the channel. But he's not an action figure, it's a small statue, it doesn't move, so in order to be considered for the top five, it has to be a poseable action figure. A big shout out to my girlfriend who suggested I do this video in the first place. I wasn't going to do one after how good a job Strange Form did with his countdown video. But she suggested I do it and I'm grateful that she cares enough to suggest it. Rather than discourage me from doing stuff like this, she you know, comes up with cool ideas for videos from time to time and I really appreciate that. Alright, so which Alien Big Chap action figure is the best? Let's get to the bottom of it and find out together. Hit the like button, that'll help out the channel a lot. I appreciate your support. Subscribe if you haven't done already. Check me out on Instagram at Dean Free. At number five, I have chosen the Alien Ultimate Big Chap figure by NECA. This is a really fantastic figure with absolutely stunning packaging. You do get a lot of goodies in the box. It's a really nice ultimate package here. I would totally understand if people believe this should be higher in a top five ultimate alien big chap action figure list. It's just little preference things really. It's really just the head sculpt on this one. For me personally, that stops it being higher. It handles really nicely, it's got a nice weight to it, and the paint and sculpt is very well done. I really do wish that NECA would start doing 1 6 scale aliens and predators because they would be the best, I'm sure. Especially if they're just stuck with this all plastic way of making them. I am pretty fed up with the Hot Toys 1 6 scale aliens because. They always use rubber that tends to deteriorate over time and your figures will just rot away. And that is speaking from experience, but that's never happened with any of the NECA stuff. You do have to watch out sometimes with joints snapping. I've had some NECA alien figures where I've gone to change a pose and I haven't been rough with the figure, but the arm or the leg will just snap off. But I don't really hold any grudges against NECA because they're just such a great company. They make so much good stuff. They really look after the fans. Nothing but respect for them, really. And they did an incredible job here with their ultimate alien big chap figure. At number four, I have chosen the quarter scale NECA, same company as the figure at number five, NECA quarter scale alien big chap. Now they've done quite a few different releases of this. I guess each one has their slight differences. 
and this is not the last one they brought out in that kind of retro packaging this was the one before that so I've stuck with this one for now unfortunately his legs do tend to warp a little bit at the knee I've tried my best to sort that out but it just keeps going back the way it wants to go but as far as the sculpt and paint absolutely incredible work here and a very big and satisfying collectible very accurate very poseable and good balance to it as well he doesn't come with a stand to hold him up but you can also use the tail as kind of a third leg if you will to help keep him upright the figure seems to have very good accurate proportions body length representation of the actor in the suit Balaji Badejo who played the alien big chap in the original film no longer with us unfortunately but did such a excellent unique job of playing this creature in the film the movement has never really been it's never come close to that first experience in that film it stands the test of time and with alien Romulus on the way the alien love, xenomorph love, seems to show no signs of stopping. At number three, I've chosen the Medicon 1-6 scale real action heroes alien big chap figure. A fantastic piece, you can see the box beside it there, classic film poster, very simple but effective. Let's get the figure on a rotating base, and you can see this figure is incredibly accurate when it comes to the sculpt. Unfortunately he's not true 1-6 scale, so he's much shorter than he should be for a 1-6 alien big chap. But the sculpt is incredibly accurate. Unfortunately, the paint is not quite to that standard, but it does get the job done, especially in creepy lighting. You can definitely forgive the paint job on the Medicom figure here, but the sculpt is pretty much immaculate. I love the hands. It's just all so well done. You've even got little wrinkles in the inner leg there from where the actor's wearing the suit on set. Just an amazing looking piece. Now, the posability is not fantastic on this figure, but few Alien Big Chap figures manage to capture that kind of Nosferatu kind of esque creepiness that the original Big Chap figure has. This is one of those few pieces. I mean just look at the absolute perfection of the sculpt. This is one of the few pieces that capture that creepy vibe that I can only describe as sort of Nosferatu-esque. Yeah, it's truly a magnificent specimen. I just wish it was taller because it displays so well, balances really well. It's absolutely stunning, but just too damn short for 1-6 scale. Basically, if you have the Hot Toys Ripley, this figure is the same height as Ripley. So that'll give you an idea, but you can check out the review on this figure on the channel if you want more detailed comparisons.
at number two we have the Mezco 112 scale alien big chap figure with a beautiful box here more awesome artwork on the side from HR Giger I believe back of the box shows you everything you're gonna get which is a lot of stuff and some cool pictures of the product itself This is a fantastic figure, very accurate looking and made from material I'm not too familiar with. I don't really have anything else in the collection that feels like this in hand. I didn't get all the accessories out folks. If you want to see all that stuff you can check out the in-depth review on the figure that I've done on the channel. I'm just going to focus on the figure here. I've just heard a few scary stories on YouTube, folks who have had broken joints because of that kind of metal skeleton that is underneath all the, I'll call it rubber for now, but I'm not really even too sure what the body's made from. But it feels like rubber, but it seems very tough and durable. But I would be wary, it seems quite experimental. But it has one of the most accurate mouths for an alien big chap with the top row of teeth having that curve towards the front there really nice skull under the dome the only thing that holds it back a little bit for me is I think sometimes his limbs you know the arms and legs specifically the legs should be I think a little bit longer he just seems a little bit stumpy to me some really nice coloring on the piece as well with some subtle browns mixed in with the black but I have heard over time that paint can kind of wear away because of the surface that it's been applied to here. So far mine seems pretty much the same as when I got him out of the box brand new. But again, it's early days, it seems a bit experimental, so we'll have to wait and see. But the posability is fantastic on this figure. It's a lot of fun to work with, and a very cool addition to any Big Chap collection. get a quick look at it here on the rotating base another little thing that I don't like too much is where the ankle area it looks like he's wearing trousers you know it's not thinning out enough as it gets to the ankle to kind of blend in seamlessly so that with the slightly shorter than they should be arms and legs maybe the arms are fine but I think the legs do look a little bit short to me sometimes but regardless of that how creepy it looks as it turns here the skull under the dome the eye sockets, the shape of the dome there at the front. It's absolutely terrifying looking. I really love the way this figure looks. And at number one, I've chosen the Mafex Alien Big Chap figure. Just unmatched when it comes to posability and accuracy. However, he's an absolute knobhead. Working with him is a nightmare. Trying to get him to not fall apart when you're handling him, it's easy enough to just put back together again. But it is very fiddly. Very fiddly indeed, and it can get quite annoying. Totally understand that, folks, but honestly, though, the sculpt of this thing, the wrinkles in the actual suit it's supposed to be, you can see it on the forearms and the inner thighs, the legs, it's just incredible. The color tone as well is absolutely stunning. And look at that mouth area, the skull, the dome, everything is just so on point. It's absolutely dead on. And I just wish one day that we can get a 1-6 scale alien big chap just like this, but 1-6 scale. It would be insane. Like they even got a strange form pointed out and I have to admit, it's only because he pointed it out the way he did in his video that I recognized it then too. It was the, um, the goat jawbone, I think it is, on the back of the heel there that sticks out. You can even see the teeth. And apparently a lot of figures miss that little detail there. Absolutely stunning. Again, this is something I've already reviewed in depth on the channel. So you can check out the review on this piece for a much better look at it. But that is what I've chosen for my number one spot. 
and I understand that could be quite controversial. A lot of people love the NECA Ultimate figure, but honestly, as you see that turn there, you know, you know, if we're talking about visually accurate Alien Big Chap action figures, this right now would probably have to be, for most people, number one. But you can let me know in the comments your thoughts on that. Again, I realize, yes, it's a frustrating figure, it's very fiddly, some more than others, mine's not too bad. But once you get it standing upright, he's got a slight lean at the moment, I'll try and fix that for you, but it just looks amazing. These pictures here on the back of different poses you can put it in, it's all doable. do get the swappable head in the packaging with the open mouth and the different tongues that you can attach and all that good stuff but it does get a bit fiddly so I'm not going to mess with that right now. I showed you that in the review so you can check that out but this is my number one choice right now 2024 of Alien Big Chap action figures as far as accuracy. You can't really beat this one at the moment. It is incredible. And just to wrap things up here, folks, a little honorable mention for the Hot Toys Alien Big Chap 1-6 scale figure. Didn't make it into the top five because of the inaccuracies. There are so many of them, but the main area is the head sculpt, especially when you have it next to the number one figure here that I chose, the Mafex Alien Big Chap. All the inaccuracies just become so much more obvious. But in its own right, a great figure nevertheless. It's a really cool alien to own. I think most people would still recognize it as the original alien when they look at it, but for the obsessed and the observant, it's just got too many issues. So hopefully Hot Toys will revisit this one soon. But I hope you've enjoyed this video, folks. It's been fun filming it. Support the channel by hitting the like button. I really appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't done already. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Always good to hear from you. And I'd love to hear what your top five alien big chap figures would be. All right. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.